Line tracking. Line tracking is tricky. These are active analog light sensors. They send an IR beam down and measure the light that's reflected back to them. They read between 0 and 4095, just like the potentiometers. Um, they're usually mounted in sets of three, just like in the picture here, so that one's measuring, the two on the sides will measure white, and you want them to keep doing that, and if they sense black, then you turn, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you have to calculate a threshold that allows it to distinguish light from dark because if you don't tell it what the threshold is it doesn't have any idea so you have to tell it when you get a number lower than this it's light or a number higher than this it's dark so thresholds the threshold is usually in this case it's going to be halfway between light and dark but you can set thresholds to be different numbers and depending on what you're doing you might want to do that you're going to open the sensor debug window and make sure that the refresh rate is set to once. You're going to place a white surface over the line tracker like a white piece of paper and, re and register that. It's probably going to be a really high number. You take it off and it registers a really low number. Personally, I just go through and make it all halfway, which 1510 works really well. So place the black surface above. Um, a white surface, so you take your light value, add your dark value, divide it by two, that should give you your threshold. I always start by just doing it halfway at 1510 and seeing what happens at that point. So, uh -oh. there we go. Your job is to open and close your claw by running your motor clockwise or counterclockwise by covering and uncovering the line follower. So, I used 1510, as you can see in my example, because that's about, it's about where it should be. So you cover up the uh, line follower, and it should run the motor in one direction. And notice I made my claw motor run at 20. You may have to up that depending on how well your battery is charged. You might need a bigger or a smaller number. You definitely don't want to hear the ee when it squeals. Yeah, that means you're damaging the motor, so don't do that. Um, stop it immediately. But you might, it may not be enough oomph to open or close it, so you might have to bump that up, number up or lower that number depending on your battery. So give it a try and I'll sign off.